Joshua Tree National Park is not like other national parks. This protected area of desert in California doesn't boast the expansive forests or crowd-pleasing wildlife of Yellowstone or Smoky Mountains. Instead, Joshua Tree National Park offers a completely different experience for a different kind of traveler. If you're looking to brave the desert and soak up the weird and wonderful, keep watching. Here are the best things to do in Joshua Tree National Park. Climbing, bouldering, and slacklining. Not long ago, Joshua Tree National Park was regarded as a winter training destination only. Climbers waiting for the snow to melt in other parks would come to Joshua Tree to practice in the warmth. That's changed, however, and the park is now a global destination for climbing and bouldering enthusiasts. The park offers over 8,000 climbing routes, thousands of bouldering problems, and so much more. The unique structure of the rocks that fill the park mean that nearly any rock can become a problem to scramble up and overcome. In fact, casual hikers are encouraged to boulder when they see a fun climb. That's how suitable the park is to this sport. For first-time climbers, there are plenty of guided tours and excursion groups, and specialized gear can be rented. Furthermore, the booming sport of slacklining and highlining is supported here too, and several areas offer a thrilling rope walk over a gap. Bear in mind that whether it's climbing or slacklining, special permission is required to sink bolts into a rock. But as long as you remember to leave no trace, Joshua Tree National Park will be a climbing paradise. Hidden Valley Nature Trail If you only have a day in Joshua Tree National Park, then this accessible and beginner-friendly trail is the best thing to do. Think of it as a best of for the park. This one-mile trail takes hikers on a scenic loop around the titular Hidden Valley and gives you a great chance to experience the scenery, trees, and wildlife of the park in a short time. The trail begins with a short scramble over boulders, and then it's an easy walk over hard sand. While this trail isn't known for an abundance of Joshua trees, the ancient and alien-looking plants that give the park its name, you'll still see plenty of unique flora of this place. If the walk becomes too tame, there are plenty of accessible rocks to climb, and this trail is popular with bouldering enthusiasts. While short, the Hidden Valley Nature Trail is the best way to experience the unique rock formations and dramatic skylines of Joshua Tree National Park in a day. 29 Palms Spending time in a city might not be what most people think of for a desert trip, but the eclectic 29 Palms is worth checking out. This is the largest city in the vicinity of the park and acts as one of the gateways to it. What it lacks in nightlife and refinement, it makes up for in charm and artistic spirit. The first thing to do there is visit the Oasis Visitor Center to learn more about the park. Grab a map and some local advice before venturing in, you won't be sorry. The city is worth exploring to see its unique murals and to visit the quaint shops and art galleries. Yearly events are also held, including motorcycle rallies, live music concerts, and more. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. And stick around for more of the best of Joshua Tree National Park. Birding Joshua Tree National Park is an ecologically diverse environment. It's essentially the meeting point of two deserts, the higher and cooler Mojave and the lower and warmer Colorado. So despite its barren appearance, the park has a variety of wildlife. Naturally, there are plenty of species of birds, and birding in Joshua Tree National Park is a unique experience. It's home to over 250 species, many of them stopping in the park to rest while migrating. Avid birders can expect to see turkey vultures, owls, eagles, sparrows, hummingbirds, and roadrunners, among many others. Birding tours to common sighting areas are available, and it's always easy to meet up with local enthusiasts for a more casual experience. If you can choose when to go, winter is best. Not only is the heat friendlier for humans, it's also when many of the birds are migrating and stopping in the park. Hike to the Mines and Mills Before Joshua Tree National Park was protected, prospectors and wealth seekers came to the area to look for gold. When the veins dried up, they packed up. But a lot of their legacy is left behind, ready to be explored. The Desert Queen Mine Trail is a short and easy loop that comes in at 1.6 miles. This mine was in use for over 60 years and is now a registered historic place. It takes you down into a small canyon and past numerous pieces of long-abandoned mining equipment. Wall Street Mill is an easy trail of 2.15 miles over flat terrain, with a unique site at the end. The mill was the next destination for gold ore. Once mined, it was processed and crushed at mills like these. 
Now, Wall Street Mill is a ruin, but it's a ruin that's fascinating to explore and will make for some stunning photographs with the harsh desert backdrop. While there are several other mines to explore, these two can easily be seen in a single outing. Check out the alien vegetation. Life out in the desert is hard, and the flora that call these environments home have had to adapt in some strange ways. Joshua Tree National Park gets its name from the unique Joshua trees that dot its landscape. Known as the Yucca brevifolia, these trees have a limited range across the southwest, and it's easy to get close to them here. Their dagger-shaped leaves and haphazard branches cast silhouettes that make for spectacular photos, and nature lovers will be fascinated at the adaptations made to survive here. For another special type of plant, take a walk on the Chola Cactus Garden Trail. This tiny hike is less than a half mile and completely flat, and lets you see the Chola cacti up close. These cacti are also known by a cuter name, Teddy Bear Chola, although you definitely don't want to hug them. The trail takes you over boardwalks and past 16 information sites. Be sure to visit during the spring to see the cacti erupt in a riot of colorful flowers. And while you're in the park, be sure to take your time to examine all the weird and wonderful plant life that lives here. Rocks. So many rocks. Rocks and boulders are an intrinsic part of the park experience, and towering granite formations are all over. Some of these have been shaped by thousands of years of wind, sand, and water to create unique geological sites. Skull Rock is one of the more famous of these. Located right next to a road, it can be visited by just stepping out of your car, but it's also part of some spectacular hikes. Be sure to come at dawn to beat the crowds, as this craggy cranium attracts a crowd and makes for great photos. There are plenty of other rocks worth visiting, but too many to mention. Some standouts are Arch Rock, with a 30-foot natural arch carved out of the stone, and the popular Hall of Horrors, a narrow slot in the rock that's popular with climbers. Take in some amazing views. Joshua Tree National Park has plenty of mountains, vistas, and stunning scenery. It's well worth it to plan a hike not just in a loop, but to the top of the mountain. Key's view offers spectacular scenery from an altitude of more than 5,000 feet. This lookout is accessible by car and can be extended by hiking to Inspiration Peak for even more breathtaking scenery. But if you want a trail that will test you and you're not daunted by steep elevation in full sun, Ryan Mountain awaits. Standing at an altitude of 5,465 feet, this popular hike rewards those who conquer it with amazing views from miles and miles in every direction. Jumbo Rocks Campground One of the best things to do in Joshua Tree National Park is stay the night, or ideally, several nights. Jumbo Rocks Campgrounds is the biggest and most spectacular option. Living up to its name, Jumbo Rocks Campground is surrounded by towering monoliths. Like the rest of the park, the rocks are begging to be climbed. The campground requires booking from September to May and has 124 sites available. RVs and towed vehicles can be accommodated too. The campground serves as a good hub for other explorations, and plenty of hikes and sites can be reached from here. Jumbo Rocks Campground doesn't offer potable water, but there are fire pits, an amphitheater, spectacular sunsets, and a night sky that stretches for miles. Pitch a tent, stay up late, and enjoy the desert in a unique way. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorite things to do in Joshua Tree? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.